Awesome. So, all right, so uh, here's my presentation. We're going to uh, begin here. So hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Mike uh, Fedor, right? and uh, this is uh, my uh, little talk here about uh, perhaps uh, you've gone through the uh, different um, uh, other kind of talks here at PodCamp, and you've learned uh, the basics of you know, what is uh, podcasting, who's a pod blogger, you know, where do you uh, find your audience, and everything. Got the you know, main overview. I'm going to take it one step further and show you actual technique. Once you start blogging and grow your show and then expand it, I'm going to talk to you about a new uh, trending technique uh, that uh, you know, pulls out a little bit more uh, value out of your uh, podcast, or kind of specifically in this a video uh, podcast for YouTubers and people that are uh, make, producing videos for uh, the web. So uh, here's my, uh, my credentials. Uh, so just so you know, I'm not making this stuff up. Uh, I am a uh, uh, journalism my graduate of uh, Penn State University in uh, 2002, and after uh, that, I. Uh, Landed a job working in uh, commercial radio uh, in uh, WRC, was a news uh, organization. Uh, I did a lot of uh, stringer work and uh, uh, talked to all the different uh, uh, sports, did the uh, local high school and uh, Penn State uh, sports around there. And uh, that's where I uh, started uh, learning to uh, do all the uh, uh, broadcasting there. And then, uh, unfortunately, uh, that uh, it didn't last as long I got and they uh, sold the kind uh, of radio station, so uh, here I am back in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, and I also uh, worked uh, public relations and uh, uh, the public address announcer for the uh, Penn State women's hockey team, uh, and that was a real fun experience. So I, I uh, introduced them to a lot of, because this was back in uh, 2002, and uh, uh, they were uh, pretty much uh, in the uh, prehistoric eras of uh, using their club, and uh, using the website and, uh, to promote their club. It was a club sport back then. And uh, so I, I helped them out a lot with that. Uh, so, uh, and as far as uh, my uh, uh, life is, uh, my career on uh, you know, doing actual you know, blogging and uh, podcasting and a lot of uh, uh, blogging on the internet is that uh, uh, about nine years ago, uh, a uh, gal pal in uh, Texas uh, was talking to me and introduced me uh, to a thing called uh, blogger.com. It's now part of the uh, Google network, but uh, I said, oh, everybody's uh, signing up and uh, making these uh, blogs now. You can you know, do it in a daily diary, and maybe we can uh, you know, do one together and stuff like that. So uh, then I just I said, well, yeah, that, that's all nice and good, but you know, we'd be uh, chatting back and forth, we'd be kind of writing about our lives, but my life's pretty bland and boring. It's not really something nobody would want to uh, read that right away. Uh, so I would rather much write about the sport I love, hockey. And in the meantime, I can keep my uh, journalism skills uh, sharp and uh, try to keep that in practice and, and especially uh, sell it to all the other uh, you know, commercial uh, radio stations and stuff like that and say, hey, I've got all this experience. Right. And so I've been uh, working on uh, Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic as a uh, a blogger and a podcaster uh, for about nine years now. We just had a ninth anniversary in May. And uh, it's, uh, well, back then it was the first of its kind. And I like to you know, brag a lot about that it was the uh, you know, pioneering uh, hockey uh, blog out there that now competes with uh, Yahoo Sports and everybody's got a uh, hockey blog now. But uh, uh, And I also was the uh, uh, first one, uh, first hockey blog to uh, incorporate videos into the uh, blogging uh, contents like that. I, would, uh, I use it, and we're going to uh, show it to you here because uh, everybody watching online and uh, here uh, watching with me today is uh, going to be treated to a, a brand new, never seen before, totally new uh, hockey, confessions of a hockey fanatic video that I uh, produce uh, just for this talk today. So, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you still on the water? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I, I find it's, uh, uh, since they updated uh, with the uh, Google stuff like that, and they've gotten a lot of the, uh, the analytics and stuff like that, it's uh, the editors and things that uh, really, I really like the constant updating and uh, making it easier and easier more to produce the uh, uh, 
log entries and stuff like that. So, uh, so all right. So, um, unfortunately, though, I, even though uh, the convention of the hockey fanatic is you know, my voice and my opinion, but I, when I started you know, blogging, I, I took the news of the day and I said, okay, this is what's going on in the world. I said, uh, okay, this is my opinion uh, about it. But then, you know, I, it was uh, just. You know, just my me on there, and uh, I said, okay, well, what can I do to spice it up? What can I do to uh, present uh, something, you know, more than uh, just, you know, my point of view on the videos or not the blogs? So, uh, yeah, I wanted to, uh, you know, like, uh, well, this is talking about the, uh, you know, limitations because I, uh, even though, like I, I, I do some interviews, and I'll, I talk, I talk to uh, Glenn Patrick of uh, what the Patrick family is uh, related to uh, Craig and uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, and uh, I talked to uh, several, uh, you know, did several interviews and everything, and I, I, I still, it was still just me. So I, I thought, okay, well, I, I, I watch uh, a lot of other people and their hockey blogging and uh, what their uh, videos are doing. I'll learn from them and see what they're doing to attract their audience. And there's a pretty neat new trend that, that I want to uh, show you guys here with... Uh, uh, oops. Okay. Uh, I also introduced a uh, second uh, YouTube channel because um, I found out that a lot of uh, more contacts that I, I talked to and the videos that I watched, so, uh, they weren't really interested in hockey as I was. So it's okay, well, uh, then I'll just make a, a regular a general topic a variety discussion and uh, either you know, reply to other videos or just you know, talk about any you know, philosophical. Uh, uh, so I've got uh, two channels there. It's called, uh, one's called the uh, Mike, Michael Fedor Show. And the other ones, uh, just my, my confessions of hockey fanatic. It's under uh, Hockey Night in uh, the uh, YouTube channel. So uh, as I'm uh, surfing around the uh, internet, I, I'm uh, big fans of uh, several different uh, people that uh, are big you know, phenomenons in uh, YouTube, especially up in Canada. Uh, I'm watch, uh, I'm keep in touch with all of the uh, hockey fans up in Toronto. That. Uh, uh, Steve Dangle and uh, Clayton Hansler are both uh, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs fans, and uh, they've been uh, doing, and they're uh, more of the uh, guys that introduced me to this whole uh, concept of uh, having uh, two different, uh, you know, presenting yourself as another character in the same video. Whereas in, uh, you're uh, talking about the game, and you want to either kind of contradict yourself or maybe add in another point of view that I uh, maybe want to give to uh, the rest of the audience there, uh, then uh, these guys uh, do it really well. And uh, Alma Fai uh, is a uh, college uh, student. I don't believe she's uh, uh, tell, I told anyone where she is though, but uh, she does about like 30 different characters uh, sometimes. Uh, I, okay, that's slightly exaggerated. I'm going to uh, show you guys a, a, a couple of uh, examples of each uh, here. So, I, um, YouTube. Okay, so this is uh, uh, Steve Dangle's uh, video that uh, he gets about uh, over 3,000 hits. Of course, he's uh, uh, promoted by the team as well. He does uh, game by game uh, videos of everything like that. But, uh, I'll show you. Uh, this is an example of hopefully if everything goes right here. That's not signal. Signal's kind of weak in here. There we go. All right. So is this? Uh, Videos loading up here. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, you guys have any other uh, questions or any other thoughts or anything you want to uh, share uh, with us uh, while this uh, uh, video is loading up? So, where are, are you able to use um, 
AdWords and get ads on your site too? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I also, I, I have plenty of people uh, contact. Since I've been doing it for nine years, I'm pretty much established on my, I've been uh, uh, endorsed on a trip. My media has called me and then interviews uh, with me on their uh, website. They're doing that uh, uh, trip live uh, on the net now. Okay. Uh, so I, I did an interview for them not, not too long ago, um, on like late March or so. And so that, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've had you know, a lot of people uh, write me emails and say, hey, can I, we advertise on your website. So it's not just the, you know, plugging in those you know, like uh, AdSense thing. I, I could do it and you know, drag because it's in the hole in the editor thing. Okay, just click and drag the uh, AdSense column into there. But uh, I guess uh, well, that's uh, loading up. Let me uh, show you to here. This is uh, what it looks like now. Oh, yeah. When you move the car the projector, uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is going swimmingly, isn't it, folks? I know, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, this is what uh, uh, my website uh, looks like, and uh, I, I get a lot of uh, uh, people. I, I make sure to put that there's the uh, Facebook uh, life. I know I, don't, I, I put a lot of announcements out on that. If I say, hey, I got new yeah, content, I. Uh, so, my friend me on Facebook, uh, there's my bio, and of course I'm uh, doing my best to promote this. So, uh, and just a reminder, hopefully you guys uh, stick around or come back, or maybe you want to come into uh, the place itself and watch the whole... What is the, what is the your actual URL? Hmm? Uh, it's called... Uh, uh, I, I haven't really bought it. I, I should buy a... Uh, uh, domain name, but uh, it's hockeyfan.blogspot.com. Uh, so that's the whole thing. It's just got to uh, scroll down a little bit more. Uh, with, uh, talking about, uh, yeah, that, that should be uh, another uh, topic for another day about the uh, NHL. Just uh, I released a whole new uh, policy for their uh, players. Regarding uh, their behavior on Twitter and such like that. So, um, okay, I'm loading uh, Is it loading at all? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty slow. It's about like two thirds of the way there. So, right, I'm going to start. Yeah, all right. Most of the time, when uh, you're doing uh, two uh, characters in the same video, one of the other will get kind of not dopey or uh, in for the comedic effect, and then you know, you're going to be your own straight man. So I uh, hear he's not talking about uh, one of the uh, games last year. It's, uh, it was posted uh, uh, earlier this year on uh, February. So uh, I think. Uh, and he also does another uh, interesting uh, uh, editing uh, device where he uh, quick cuts instead of you can hear me talking about mm, uh -huh, thing like that. So you want to edit all that. He, he uh, uh, loads up a couple of uh, uh, facts or two about the game and then quick cuts to another couple of facts to the thing. It does a lot of quick cutting in his uh, videos and stuff like that. Uh, that's another topic for another day. but. Uh, uh, I think he's got uh, his, uh, what he calls his uh, hack guy. Okay, he's never really given an uh, actual name to it, but it's his uh, character that he doesn't with uh, anybody else that uh, you see uh, in his videos with the uh, hat kind of uh, crooked to the side. It's uh, just his other uh, character. So um, I'm, I don't think, I don't know if you guys are still interested in uh, seeing the rest of the vid because it does go on for about uh, five minutes or so. And I don't know if you. Uh, we got this other character makes another appearance, but uh, it kind of reminds me of Yin's lover, the Blends. You know the show? Yeah, yeah, they, they you know, uh, you know, the quite a bit. Uh, so let's 
uh, uh, shut that off. So at least you get an idea of um, how he broadcasts as far as uh, that. And then uh, uh, one of the other uh, Leafs fans that uh, I like to watch because he's uh, pr uh, pretty emotional and he uh, likes to uh, talk about this. Uh, he also introduced, uh, the, his name's uh, Clayton Hansler. Uh, he's uh, broadcast under the name of uh, Chancellor 84. And uh, and of course, I, I got all their permission. I got one to you know, each uh, person and ask them, uh, to, uh, "Can I please show your video?" So I um, just want to uh, throw that out there as a disclaimer and say, uh, "Yes, I got uh, all the videos that I'm showing here for a, a demonstration. I, I got permission to show uh, their videos." And uh, another uh, great time uh, because I'm glad that uh, uh, Clayton Hansler uh, had uh, uh, presented it this way. He created. A, uh, a character uh, of himself as a, a professor that um, he uh, he wanted to talk about all the fun stuff about the game, but then present a uh, more nerdy character, glasses like that, that was more interested in the stats and the uh, and I don't call it different uh, facts and uh, figures and the uh, standings and stuff like that. So uh, whenever he wanted to uh, uh, talk about uh, some more of the uh, boring stuff, uh, he, and then uh, he. I introduced the character, and then later on in this, uh, I, is this the, this isn't a bit of the, uh, so you said you're a writer filmmaker? I am. I'm a, I'm a photographer, but we, um, me and my partner just started making documentaries. We're making a documentary about Cranix Bike Shop. Oh. In Garfield. I just went there for the first time a couple weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Well, then you can understand why we're making a documentary about the place then. Cool. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, the place is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, like, how long? Kind of, I'm sorry, I'm doing it. Sorry, I'm waiting for this to load yeah, up here we, as well. So. Completing by December. Okay, so is it going to be like a 30 minute movie? Uh, like, how, like, what's your target? Less than an hour. Okay. Less than an hour. We're aiming for about 35 minutes. Cool. Yeah. So, how are you shooting? How are you filming? Are you just using digital? Digital handheld, basically. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you all the information when, when we're done here. Sure. We have a website. Okay. Yeah. That's so I'm really inter I'm really really interested in this mm -hmm. dual role character thing. Mm -hmm. This this really fascinates me. Mm -hmm. Do you do you do this yourself? Uh, yes, I, I I do. I uh, I've uh, decided, I, I, Do you have examples of you personally doing uh, it? Yes. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna I wanna, unveil. I, yeah, website. I really want to see this. Well, please not on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I get that. It's coming up on the one I've been teasing all this weekend. Like, yeah, I was gonna. I uh, debut a new video, so uh, another uh, uh, jump in here. Let me show. i uh, be fair with him and actually uh, show it. Like, and um, uh, he decided to make a video, and then uh, use his uh, nerdy professor guy uh, to a uh, question and answer period. Like, and uh, he, uh, he's actually interviewing himself. Uh, person I like to watch that uh, really uh, kind of uh, pushed me in the right direction as far as uh, uh, doing uh, some kind of like a video production of this magnitude uh, and uh, is, uh, her name is uh, Elma Fye. She's a young uh, college student uh, and, uh, I, and she get like, uh, this one uh, 
video here is uh, 26,000 views. So, so I got a new tweet the other day, and I found out that the last video of the Trump's Monarchs had number 71 on the top three list of the people who won't stand for it for Thursday, February 18th. Now, if you've been following my videos at all, you can probably imagine my reaction. I um, made a t shirt. I made a t shirt. At the time, I was trying not to let this little thing drop out of my head. I think that number 71 top rated slot just got elbowed No, I know it's basically just a popular contest, but. Really mm. Here she is, like an yeah. acting normal. Yeah. 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 This is her uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, childhood, yeah. kind of her, her herself yeah. when she was a kid. Yeah. She threw the arts and crafts. It was a pretty devastating news. Because none of what happened on my watch. In high school, I actually ran to the homecoming princess. The only thing they were the homecoming princess was yeah. parental supervision. This was actually after my I hate everybody face and more into my why doesn't everybody like me? Looking back, I kind of wonder if the two were somehow related. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with your face? Needless to say, I wasn't elected to the princess. The politest part about that, Lewis, was that I had to sit on the stage of the coronation and do that. I'm happy for you, clap. And celebrities. Yeah, so you get uh, pretty much the idea. Yeah, so then. That's uh, So, uh. Then I said, okay, well, maybe I can do something like that. Uh, and I had mentioned earlier, uh, let's go back to the. Uh, thing is that um, I have uh, two uh, YouTube channels, one for uh, the uh, you know, hockey uh, uh, blogging and one for uh, general you know, topics, ones I can share with you know, people that I network that aren't interested in sports or uh, like that. So, hmm, I wonder if that would work out in a uh, nice uh, cross-promotion type of thing, like have a personality from the variety channel interact with someone uh, on the hockey channel. Me, so <laughs> um, I'll go back here and uh, uh, go over to that there. So, um, I of course want to uh, thank all three uh, Dangle Chancellor and Alma Phi for their uh, cooperation in this project. Uh, and this one down here to. Here and so it uh, led me to, uh, to uh, sort of do like a whole uh, invasion thing where uh, the uh, hockey guy was coming on to my uh, other uh, variety channels. And, uh, okay, so here's my. Uh, this is. Okay, all right, so uh, you have to uh, understand that uh, this is more of a, like an uh, ongoing uh, storyline as far as like, I, I've uh, done, done the cross promotion on both channels. So then I even, uh, when one of my other personalities shows up on screen, YouTube uh, can allow you to go into their uh, editor and stuff like that and place uh, a link or two right over the screen that are watching. So then when you see uh, the hockey main, there's a, a, a little uh, link to say, okay, this is uh, uh, for the other channel. If you're interested in uh, hearing this guy talk, go over to this uh, channel here. And you, uh, that way you get um, you know, more views that way. Uh, so uh, this, uh, the one uh, variety channel is uh, still fairly new. Uh, it's only about uh, a year or two old, and I don't uh, do that many uh, videos, but I uh, wanted to establish more of a uh, Shoutouts here. Shoutouts. Get to shoutouts. Get to shoutouts. Shoutouts here. Shouting out loud. Shout. Shout. Letting it all out. And so that, that's basically how it began. He said, uh, I can't do that uh, another. Because then I, I, I want to take you through uh, briefly uh, as how I uh, edited it all together like that. And not, I want to at least uh, give some examples of uh, what I was doing there. And then eventually, that uh, so I, I started out with a, 
you know, doing on the megaphone, and then I made another video uh, talking about another topic, and then, because I'm not going to go on to this other video because I, I, it's not, I'm just, it's just me talking to the camera, and uh, that's the only appearance by that uh, other character on the, uh, from the other channel. But, uh, so you see how obnoxious it is when somebody's trying to read a magazine, you're talking to people hanging along loudly like this? Mm -hmm. And uh, here I decided to uh, differentiate myself. Like I'm a little more unshaven in this uh, video here, and then but then I am. What it, and then I recorded all that part to me first, and then I uh, took a quick shower and shave, and then uh, I'm supposed to look differently. Of course, uh, anytime I'm going to be in my, my hockey jersey, I'm not business. character in my videos is another uh, the subconscious trying to tell you something. sake of time, and, uh, and well, we could, I guess we could uh, continue watching that, but uh, uh, more or less uh, that's the whole idea of the concept behind uh, having a, uh, a dual role uh, characters in your videos, that uh, it's a uh, popular technique, and I've showed you some of the other uh, people already starting to use it, uh, I'm, I'm going to plan on using it uh, a little bit more into my other videos, because then eventually I'm going to uh, start making uh, some uh, hockey videos where my other uh, I uh, got uh, where the other variety guy was coming in and uh, talking about all that. So, let me see here. I, two videos. And uh, here's my, uh, uh, here's another uh, cross over promotion to where I'm actually. I uh, uh, there. This is uh, a uh, little uh, skate park a little uh, rink out in uh, uh, McKeesport, Pennsylvania. And I uh, set this all up, and of course, this was already posted. This was already uh, posted on, and of course I, I go through uh, a little bit of you know, talking about the uh, summer and some of the uh, news headlines over the summer, so I'm not going to uh, bore you guys with this and taking up uh, already uh, way too much time with the uh, demonstration. Uh, uh, that is pretty much all that uh, is there with that. So, uh, alrighty, um, you guys want to uh, see a little bit of how I uh, produce the on uh, this video that you just saw. Open up my... Uh, I like to, uh, I, I work with uh, several different uh, video editing software because uh, basically all I do is just uh, 
I uh, record myself on a uh, blog, you know, digital hand plan, and then it uh, uploads into the computer, and then I just uh, re edit it on everything from there. I either use it. I'm, a bit, I'm sorry, I'm a big fat uh, Sony fan, but I also have a Sony uh, blog door and uh, one of these. Uh, uh, flip cams, they also come in handy when I'm uh, just uh, vlogging and talking to a camera myself. So I just uh, upload the uh, footage into that and then I put it together so that I, uh, where I was trying to explain earlier to, so uh, that when I, I uh, wanted to, I just I had an idea of basically what I wanted the video to look like and I uh, talked about one side uh, and I came back later, changed my clothes or changed my appearance in some way and then put it all together, and then it makes it look like I'm actually uh, talking to myself. Let me open here. Uh, the, uh, and I like uh, the uh, Vegas movie studio here. Let me open up uh, things to see how. I think it's kind of easy. Uh, I, of course, I've had uh, plenty of uh, video and uh, uh, audio editing with my uh, broadcasting career, so it, I, it just came as a natural thing to me, just to uh, put it up here, so it's, okay. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so, uh, that's at the actual fun. All right, I'm not going to uh, waste uh, too much time with that, but uh, basically then you can go into the um, uh, editor and then uh, uh, when you paste the uh, image, like that, there's uh, different uh, audio and video inputs on that as well. So uh, that's what I kind of do with the video, so I'm splicing it all together. Just record uh, two different sides and then edit it together. So that is the uh, what I've been doing. That's uh, hopefully uh, you guys have uh, now been exposed to uh, a whole new idea of uh, podcasting and planning and putting yourself out there on that. Uh, yeah. So this is my uh, all the I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but yeah, this is basically uh, what I. I talked to mine about you have to uh, either uh, when you, especially when you have uh, other people involved as far as doing your camera work, you want a uh, storyboard and say, okay, this is my vision, this is you know what I want the video to look like, and then uh, you just uh, film uh, one character at a time and then I uh, uh, cut back and forth so it looks like you're actually talking to yourself. Uh, so then uh, you got to go to uh, do the costume change and of course the uh, post production is uh, what takes uh, most of the time, which uh, it's a uh, whole lot of uh, time to talk about now because then I eventually want to uh, uh, get to the uh, moment you guys have all been waiting for, the ones I've been uh, teasing on Twitter. Uh, hopefully uh, I've been following the uh, Pittsburgh uh, podcast uh, feed as well. I've been, uh, everybody else has been uh, talking about that. So uh, here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, the new video made for Pittsburgh, uh, Podcast Pittsburgh number six. It's a video called Hockey is Awesome.
That is your argument at one time in 93. Montreal still has more cups than any other team. Well, I'll give you the one thing. You did invent one hell of a sport. Well, thank you. At you can invent that. You can be perfected. This is your own game. That's all the time we have here. But for hockey, it's awesome. I'm an American, and I'm better. This has been Hockey with Boston. Okay, so that was the, uh, if you guys uh, missed or couldn't make it here, this is going to be uh, uploaded to uh, Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic at uh, a little bit, about 15 minutes or so. It's going to appear on there, so, but uh, those of you who have uh, sit through this uh, uh, presentation, I guess, uh, it's, you know, it's been fun. I hope uh, you guys learned something, and uh, I guess want to uh, talk a little bit more about it. So we've got about another... Uh, yeah, ten more minutes or so. I'm glad y'all uh, stopped by. And, or I shouldn't say y'all. Just for today. I'm glad you didn't stop by. Wait, I'll okay. I'm translating for the people from Nashville. <laughs> yeah, so you understand what I'm talking about. Y'all uh, from Nashville. And the Yins are in the room and they the rest of everybody watching out there at, uh, on podcamppittsburgh.com. So uh, that's my uh, whole presentation. Uh, and there's the there, and uh, I get, well, yeah, I should say yeah that, that uh, there's my uh, uh, different uh, logos there. If you want to uh, add me to uh, this is where you can reach me on uh, different uh, websites there. I get the uh, Twitter uh, contact. Of course, I didn't measure it out. That it's running off the uh, page there. It's, I'm uh, at uh, Mike Fedor Show on Twitter on uh, YouTube. Uh, I did my Hockey Night and my Fedor show on YouTube. Those are my uh, YouTube channels. And there's also a place called Blog TV that uh, does a, a live uh, video thing. I like chat that in real time on the web. So that's where you can reach me. So uh, thank you all very much for listening and putting up with me. And of course, I also want to uh, uh, stress that. Um, uh, because uh, maybe you guys have uh, learned something new today. I hope uh, uh, that uh, I'm pretty fat. I'm, I love this whole uh, tagline there that, uh, that you guys have got going there at uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh. You know, we're here to learn, interact, and hopefully apply what you've learned today. So uh, I want to stress this part right here apply what you've learned. Uh, and get. So hopefully, uh, if you want to kind of start doing some more of the techniques with the uh, dual role in videos, then if I'm a guest. Cool, oh, thanks. I like your Canadian mercenary. <laughs> it's a fun idea. Yeah, yeah, and that's going to uh, hopefully uh, get a big uh, response and uh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll make some more. It's how often do you say you do? Uh, I probably buy like once or what uh, once a month or so. Okay. Like that. And, uh, it's uh, I'm I got a day job and stuff like that. That's uh, more or less. Uh, yeah, you yeah, gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it, a way of fun. <laughs> I, I wish. Uh, now I'm not getting uh, like um, it's, I get a lot of advertising um, money from this. So a lot of advertisers that. Uh, Asking me, I think we can put up some links and stuff like that, but uh, it's not nearly enough to live on. Oh, so, no. so, like, it's, um, until then, I'm just doing it for a hobby and doing it because I want to keep my uh, journalism sharp. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. I enjoyed the information. Thank you.